The largest tertiary education provider in Taranaki has announced it will not be offering a new suite of art and design courses this year, a decision that's left prospective students fuming. The students say they were not given enough notice of the decision, making it difficult for them to make alternative arrangements. Our Taranaki Whanganui reporter Robin Martin has more. In December, the Western Institute of Technology announced it would finish teaching the Level 6 Diploma in Creative Technology this year, but not take new enrolments in the program. Instead, it would offer the New Zealand Diploma in Art and Design and the New Zealand Diploma in Digital Media and Design. Now the Institute says demand for the new qualifications is so low, they will not be offered in 2018. The timing of the news could not have been more unfortunate for 18-year-old Jess Clough, who was enrolled in the Level 5 Diploma in Digital Media and Design. On the 24th of January this year, I got a call saying that it's been cancelled and that I was eligible for other Level 5 courses or I could go to UCO and see if there was a similar course. What was significant about that date? That was my birthday. <laughs> so it was pretty, it wasn't the greatest news to hear. Jess says she didn't get notice soon enough. No, because my course would have started on the 26th of February, so it wasn't even a month, well, it was a month away, but to enrol anywhere else and to move away, it's not that much time. Jess's mum, Rachel Prowse, says her daughter's disappointment was palpable. It was just tough watching her so disappointed when she got that phone call. She had planned out, she is a planner, so she planned <laughs> out what she was going to do, where it was going to take her, what she thought she was going to do for the year, down to the last dot and crossing her T's. And then it just shattered her and it's like, what do we do? Jess has given study away and is now working full time at McDonald's. And she's not the only one who's had to make new plans. Marina Rousseau was fully paid up for study in 2018 and had heard nothing from WIT ahead of the call on January the 24th. She's been left hanging. I mean, all the students from New Plymouth or who enrolled, where do we go from here? Apparently they, we can contact Massey or one of the institutions in Palmerston North. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do now. I don't know where to continue. The chief executive of WIT, Barbara George, says enrolments for the two courses were in single figures and they were not viable. That doesn't mean to say that there weren't people out there who were making up their mind or thinking about it or talking to people about it, um, but we had no applications from them in order to be able to talk to them and encourage them to go through with a full enrolment. Ms George says the Institute did all it could to offer the courses and she feels for the affected students. We'd been working on this as an institute for some time but couldn't go public on the final decision until the final decision was made and the date for that was the 19th of January. The students told me that they'd been notified on the, on the 24th of January. Do, do you feel that an, an, gives them enough time to make alternative arrangements? It's unfortunate, um, but it happens. Miss George says the courses could run in 2019, but if they don't, it will be the first time in almost 30 years the Polytech would not have an arts program. That's something the acting director of the Len Lai Centre and Gavette Brewster Art Gallery, Colleen Mullen, can't fathom. It shocks me the short-sightedness of it. Um, the creative industries are big and getting bigger, and they need workers. Ms Mullins says a big part of the gallery's workforce are WIC graduates. Meanwhile, the Polytech says students affected by the changes, which have cost two tutors their jobs, should get in touch so it can help with alternative arrangements. It also points out the web design and computer-aided design are taught in its mechanical engineering and information technology programs. Ina mutu motihotaka o te ahiahi, ko Robin Martinahou.